Installation for the Ford PI Utility 2020 Plus. You will need a partner to assist, installation guide, 10 to 18 millimeter socket wrench set, drill with 5 30 seconds drill bit, impact, utility knife blade, ratchet, center punch, masking tape, panel tools, and cutters. This custom cage includes two blocks, two brackets, upper cargo barrier, lower cargo barrier, pre-slip foam, upper side panel, lower side panel, kick plate, hardware and installation guide, front panel, handle bracket, and L bracket. Let's begin the installation. First, remove the panel molding on both sides. Adhere to factory instructions for safe removal. Note the difference between block size and shape. The smaller one goes on the driver's side. Position the block on the C-pillar. Line up to the bridge corner. Mark with the punch. Drill where you put the punch marks. Mount the block completely, but do not over tighten. Repeat the process on the other side. Mount the block completely, but do not over tighten. To assist in guiding you with the block location once the panel is replaced, use masking tape to mark the XY axis. Replace panel covers. Line up all factory tabs to avoid breakage. Note the difference in bracket size. The longer bracket goes on the driver's side. Loosely install the longer bracket to the driver's side cargo barrier. As a reminder, do not tighten the bolts until everything is installed. Loosely install the smaller bracket on the passenger side. Install the cargo barrier with the brackets toward the front of the car. Make sure the middle seat is up and the cage is vertical in order to avoid mounting it too far forward. Using the tape marks, locate the block and double check behind the panel for accuracy. Drill a hole. Mount loosely. There should be a bit of movement with the bracket. Repeat on the passenger side. Remember to install loosely. There should be movement with the bracket. Install the lower cargo barrier. The smooth side of the barrier faces the prisoner. Loosely mount the lower barrier to the upper barrier. Loosely add the nuts and lock washers to the bolts. Pull back the lower cargo barrier to sit flush. Prepare to mount the bracket to the door handle. Cut a small 3 quarter to 1 inch wide piece of foam to insert into the handlebar bracket. The foam minimizes damage to the handle strength and tension. Cut to fit bracket size. Loosely install bracket on the passenger side B pillar handle. Remove the rear right hand bolt behind the front passenger seat closest to the rear passenger B pillar. Slide the L bracket underneath and loosely replace the bolt. Grab the lower side panel. With your partner, install the lower side panel loosely. Loosely install the bolts.
grab the upper side panel with the plexiglass facing away from the passenger. Loosely install the bolts. For this model, use one egg corn nut on the rear top hole where the panels intersect. Note that the backs of the bolts face away from the prisoner. Slide the pre-slit foam over the top barrier. Slide all the way back to touch the rear barrier. When installing the sidekick panel, note that the kick plate lip faces toward the passenger. The edge of the kick plate lines up with the barrier. Loosely attach two bolts. Grab the front panel. Notice the smooth side faces the passenger. Line up holes and loosely install bolts. Bolt handle bracket and attach front panel to side panel. Your partner can assist with loosely installing the bolts. Slide the foam over the top of the front panel. With your partner assisting with a wrench, tighten all bolts. For the corners, you may choose to tighten them solo. Tighten the seat bolt. With the connectors facing away from the prisoner, feed through the zip ties, spacing them five to six inches apart. Cut away the excess, making sure it is flush at the connection. Cut the excess foam two inches below the screen. Be careful not to cut into the cage. Finally, Install the lower rear cargo barrier screws. Do not over tighten. Your custom cage is now installed and ready for use. Thanks, Carmelita and Stefan.